in today's tutorial i am going to show you four options out of the box thinking infographic slide in powerpoint as you can see here i have created four open boxes and when i click you can see here one light comes out with the icon and then below you can add more details to it again second click it will give you the second option the third option and the fourth option so let's see how to do this in powerpoint add a new slide go to view and enable the guides go to insert shapes and from rectangles i'm going to select a triangle just draw a triangle maybe this much size shape outline make it no outline and rotate i'm rotating left 90 degrees and put it or you can put it exactly in the center and press ctrl d to duplicate it and give some different color and then this also you rotate it to i'll just say flip horizontal and just place it opposite to that one so you end up getting this shape then go to insert shapes select a rectangle draw the rectangle from this end to this end and give some different color and shape outline make it no outline and then send this to back and select this press ctrl d to duplicate it and put it here and this also you send this to back and you can give some different color then I'm going to insert shapes, select a right triangle and draw the right triangle from this end to this much size you can see here, shape outline, make it no outline and press ctrl D, rotate it, just say flip horizontal and put it the other side. So you can see here, you have to make sure that this is properly align now i'm just selecting this one and hold the shift key select the right triangle and go to format merge shapes and just say subtract so here also i'm selecting this and hold the shift key select the blue right triangle merge shapes and subtract so you end up getting this shape let me just remove the guidelines and I'm going to give the right colors select the first uh, this triangle the blue one go to format shape fill go to more fill colors and you can give some dark color this side you can see here maybe I'll just select uh, some more dark okay this one and here I'm going to select some more lighter color and I'm just doing the opposite here. I'm selecting the light color and here I'm selecting the dark color. So you can see here, you got a shape like a kind of a box. Then go to insert shapes, select a rectangle, draw a rectangle. This is for the box. Select this shape outline, give some light colors or you can go to more fill color and I'm just selecting very light color here shape outline no outline and right mouse click edit points and just drag this point on top here this one and one more here so you can see here so this kind of a box it's open and then press ctrl D rotate it and again right mouse click edit point so this one i'm just moving this side you can see here and two more are there so we have to make sure that let me just zoom it edit point put it to the right side right corner we can see here this is looks perfect 
let me just zoom out and then I'm just going for this side you can see here little bit zoom and again edit points put this side here so you can see here and the last one I have to do it for this one again for that I'm going to select this press ctrl D move this again right mouse click edit point zoom and you can see here a box is ready the design is ready you can see here now you can see here the design of the box is ready now I'm just going to select with the help of the mouse or you can just press ctrl a to select all and press ctrl g to group it and you can just reduce the size by holding the shift key whichever size you need you can see here i can just increase the size a little bit so this is my first box and again if you want you can just press ctrl d you can make it two three four depending on your uh, requirement but before that let me just bring it in the center and I want to add more text and icons to it for that I'll go to insert shapes I'm going to select this one which is trapezoid draw the trapezoid and rotate I'm just rotating it flip vertical you can see here shape outline make it no outline and right mouse click go to format shape fill I'm going to give a gradient fill and I'm going to use only two stops so one stop I'm going to make the same color which is the green the other one I'm going to make it maybe the same color green but I will increase the transparency here you can see here almost and this also I'm going to increase the transparency a little bit and just bring this side you can see here let me just zoom in All right and you can see there's a gap here again I'm to fill this gap right mouse click edit points again in the center I'm going to click and say add point and just drag this one here so you can see here but this design is also ready so this one let me just make it more transparent you can see here I can increase the size all right like this this also I can increase the transparency further and then go to insert icons you need to have a active internet connection for this so once you got the icons just read whatever the icon you need it's taking time okay let me just select this icon click insert and just put it here or if you want you can put it here wherever and if you want the same color you can add the same color also and then below you can add more details you can add the the title you can see here you can make the subtitle here and I'm going to change the font to century gothic and again if you want the same color you can just select the same color what we have used for this and then you can add one more text box equals lorem within bracket one so I'm just using some latin text here and that's it so you can see here the design is ready I'll select all, select everything and move this side here and press ctrl D so this will be my second ctrl D and ctrl D so you can see here I have made it four and then to change the icon you can simply select this go to format change icon from icons 
and again whichever icon which you feel you can just simply come and select and change the color so now again changing the color is very easy so i'm just going to first move this a bit up and i'm just selecting this for this i'm going to go to some dark maybe orange color and this side i'm going to give a less orange or lighter orange i can go to customs a little bit so that we can differentiate and this also I'm going to make the light orange and this one a darker orange and then the box colors also we can just change go to more colors customs make it more lighter and press F4 key we can see here and this color also I'm just going to select and here also I'm just going to select the same color and transparency increase this also transparency and then just bring it here so you can see here this is the simplest way you can just change the colors of the boxes and you can change the colors for the rest of the boxes and let me just give you some small animation effect for first I'm just selecting this particular light go to animations tab enable the animation pane and I'm going to give a wipe effect for this you can see here the wipe effect and for this icon I'm just going to just say more intense effect and peek in and I will just say with previous if I play it comes something like this and this title also I'm just going to group it press ctrl G and go to add animation more entrance effects and I'll say stretch stretch I'm going to say from bottom or from top that will be better and this should happen with previous also so if I play it comes something like this so then using the animation icon you can just uh, animation painter you can use it uh, you can copy the animation easily let me just group this so I'm just selecting this animation painter click here then the icon let me just change the color of the icon and this icon also animation select this and this one now if you see here if I play it comes something like this so it's very easy to do the animation with the animation painter that's it from me friends thank you for watching my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe powerpoint university See you soon with more interesting stuff. Till then, goodbye.